at uh, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give out all praise, glory, and honor to your house, our shame, your house, And I'd like to give out our double honors unto our apostles and our elders at Graham Milestone. <clears throat> and uh, much blessing to you, brothers out there, laboring in truth and in sincerity. Uh, so, pretty much what I want to do, I want to uh, <clears throat> top up uh, the previous lesson I just did, which is uh, speaking about with the scriptures, man. And uh, pretty much uh, I was thinking about uh, how, you know, <clears throat> as soon as you bring out scriptures to anybody, man, the first thing they always go is uh, who wrote the Bible, man wrote the Bible, okay? So, you know, as soon as I go into some scriptures, you know, a few scriptures on uh, how the, uh, how the, uh, the scriptures uh, were put together, man, by how Bashim Yashai, okay? I uh, read uh, Isaiah 34 and uh, 16 earlier on in my previous lesson, but I'm just going to read that again real quick. Before I get started with the scriptures that I have already, <clears throat> and uh, as at the A4 and 16 says, I seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read, No one of this shall fail, none shall want her mate, for my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them, okay, and he hath cast a lot for them, and his hand and his hand hath divided it unto them by lying, they shall possess it forever from generation to generation shall they dwell therein okay and that's the scriptures man which was uh given into onto the uh, prophet you know by by lot man you know by line okay each each prophet had a uh a, a, a certain portion that they uh that they put down to government okay uh <clears throat> moses was uh you get the uh uh the i believe it's uh five if i'm not mistaken you get Genesis, you get Exodus. Uh Leviticus Numbers and Deuteronomy, that's five. So you know you got Moses, I had the, the five books of Moses. Uh you had uh, the you know and all the other scriptures, man. Okay. So uh it says uh, this is uh Psalms forty and seven. And it says, then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. Okay. And, uh, you know, that's talking about uh, the whole book, man. You know, Yahawashai came in the volume of the book, man. Okay. Uh, Paul repeated it, I believe it's in the, uh, I believe it's in the book of Hebrews, if I'm not mistaken, man. I'll just check it up to go look it up. But pretty much he quoted the same scripture, man. Okay. From uh, the book of Psalms. Okay, this is uh second Peter's one and nineteen and it says uh, we have also a more sure word of prophecy where unto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the days that arise in your hearts. Okay, the day dawn and the days that is Yahweh shine. Okay. Knowing this face that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in all time but the will of man and that just shows you straight up, right there that you know when they are you know after Yahweh Shai left when the apostles were here they were dealing with the old testament okay so that old testament was never done away with men because <laughs> even Yahweh, Yahweh Shai he was teaching from the old testament okay uh, for the prophecy came not in old time but the will of man by but by holy men of the most high speak as they were moved by the holy spirit man okay even right now if you know if you've been in this thing long enough man when you go through the scriptures or when you're just thinking you know just meditating on yourself or when you're in, your, in the shower man sometimes you know you just start speaking to yourself man you know the precepts are coming to your mind and you know you just you just you know you're prophesying pretty much man okay and, you know, me and brothers, we speak about this all the time, man. You know, you just, you know, the spirit, you know, the spirit moves you, man. You can't help yourself, man. Okay, that's how most brothers, man. That's how most brothers do lessons, man. The spirit jump on them. They just grab a camera and they, you know whatever is coming to mind. They, you know, they go in the spirit with it, man. Okay, because you know the spirit moves you. That's how you know, you know, that's how some men are, man. Okay. Uh by the by holy men speak as they were moved by the by the holy spirit man okay uh this is uh hebrews one and one it says the most high who at sundry times 
and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Okay, so there's always prophets around. Okay, uh, they still have in this uh, have in this last day spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed a heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. Okay, so you know. As the point again, you know, Heavenly Father, or cause you know, because people in the world they always think, you know, they always have that person, you know, that uh, thought in their mind that you know they are, they are a little bit special than everybody else. When they think, uh, you know, the Heavenly Father is gonna knock on their door, and you know, tell them this is the truth, man. You know, they're looking for, you know, that's why how shy when he was on the scene when he's constantly cursing them out, man. Okay, you know, the generation that's always looking for a sign. Okay, they don't believe, you know, they don't believe the word out of the mouth of the prophet, man. You know, on the spiritual note, man, that's because Yahweh Hashim Yahashai, man, as, you know, has, you know, has blinded them from seeing the truth, man. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Hosea 12 and 10. I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and similitudes but by the ministry of the prophets, man. Okay. So the Lord always spoke by the prophets, man. That's why, you know, if you read, the, you know, the, the book of the prophets, it always says, go and tell these people, okay? Go and tell these people that, go and tell that, those people that, man, because the Lord always dealt, oh, the Lord always had particular men that he dealt with that he would send to Israel, man, especially in particular, man, okay? Uh, this is uh, Psalm 68 and 11, you know, that's, you know that's how this is how i do less so i like you know to go through the precepts real quick man okay i might do it you know the, the video will be short but you know I'll, you know i'll go through the precepts real quick man you know that's that's just how i do it man okay uh this is our psalm 68 and 11 and how i gave the word great was the company of those that published it man okay and i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you example examples of uh how that happened man okay because uh, uh, in the book of Ezra, I'm not sure if I'll get it right now. In the book of Ezra, you know, Yahweh Bashim Hashem sent Ezra men to go get, to go get men that were like minded with him, man. Okay, I believe it was forty men when Ezra started speaking, man. You know, all they did was just write everything Ezra was saying, man. Okay, I'm gonna give you an example here of uh, Jeremiah. Okay, this is a uh, Amos uh, three and seven. It says, "Surely Yahweh power will do nothing, but He revealeth His secrets unto His servants, the prophets." Man, okay, and this is some prophets. Right, uh, the Lord said to them, "He said, 'I've made thee a watchman. Go and give them warning for me.'" Okay, you know, so you know, the Lord always dealt with His prophets. Man, if you look at the word, uh, pro, uh, uh, the word prophet or prof, uh prophesy it means uh pro means before and uh say means to say man to say before that's what a prophet is man today we have the today we have a complete book of the of the prophecies man okay because you know if you if you you know if you look at into these churches man these pastors they like to put their hand on your head and you know tell you oh god has a blessing for you and all that bs man Okay, you know, that's that's a false prophet, man, because the Lord has have already given his word, man. Okay, the the word the word is already uh been completed, man, put together in a book. Okay. You know, you, you know, you you know you know you don't take or add anything from that word, man. Okay, you just simply whatever is going on today, you can run it through the scriptures, man. Okay, from through the prophecies in the scriptures, man. Okay. Because niggas the one, you know. You know these so-called pastors, man. They wanna add, you know, they wanna add, uh, pretty much. They wanna show them. They wanna act like they, you know, they are divine in their own way, man, by recreating their own stupid ass prophecies, man. Okay, which you know, you know, uh, all that's BS, man. Okay, most is gonna put an end to the, all that BS soon, man. Okay. Uh, uh. Amos three and seven. Surely, the, surely our power will do nothing by revealing his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, this is a uh, Jeremiah thirty six and two. Let me see if I have one. 
This is Jeremiah 36 and 1. It says, And it came to pass in the fourth year of uh, Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, that the word that the word came to Jeremiah from Yahweh, saying, Take thee a row of a book, and write therein all the words that I have spoken unto thee against Israel, and against Judah, and against all the nations. Because the scriptures at the beginning it speaks about how Jeremiah who was made of uh, was made a prophet unto Israel and unto all the nations. Okay, even even today many were prophets unto uh, the, the children of Israel and were prophets unto all all nations, man. Because pretty much, you know, we're the ones that have the answers, man, to everything that's gonna be going on today, man. Okay. Whether they wanna listen or not, but pretty much is you know, we, you know the thing, you know. What's gonna come to pass is the word that we have, man. Okay, we have faith in that, man. Okay, um, and against Judah and against all nations, from from the day I speak unto thee, from the day I speak unto thee, from the days of Josiah even unto this day. Okay, uh, jump down to verse four. Then Jeremiah called Baruch the son of Neriah, and Baruch wrote wrote from the mouth of Jeremiah or the words of or the, from the mouth of Jeremiah or the words of Yahweh which he had spoken unto him upon a row of a book. Okay. So the words of Jeremiah were the words of the Lord man. Okay. But you know the Heavenly Father dealt with uh with Jeremiah directly man. Okay. And Jeremiah is the one that you know that that wrote down uh that uh spoke the words and he had described me which at this time was uh, Baruch okay and Jeremiah commanded Baruch saying I am shut up I cannot go into the house of Yahweh um, verse 6 it says therefore go thou and read in the row which thou hast written from my mouth the words of Yahweh in the ears of the in the ears of the people in your house house upon the fasting day and also thou shalt read them in the ears of all judah that come out of their cities okay now the point is man how speak you how i speak uh through jeremiah man and it was written in a book okay of which the, you know the words which we have today man okay which is the complete bible man all together man from all the prophets um from the old testament all the way to the new testament okay uh this is Isaiah 30 and 8. It says, Now go, write it, write it before them in a table and not in a book that it may be for a time to come forever and ever. Okay. Even to, to, to this very day, man, we have those books. We even have the ones that are, you know, the so-called black man try to take away from, you know, try to hide the apocrypha, man. Okay. Which I have a copy right here. Okay. Uh Give my next scripture. This is Isaiah 29 and 11. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of as the words of the book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is lent, saying, With this I pray thee, and he said, I cannot, for it is sealed. Sealed means uh you know you can still read, but you know it's you know the understanding of it means it's hidden, man. Okay. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, With this I pray thee, and he saith, I am not learned. Okay. Um, Jeremiah 30 and 1. Uh, the word that came to Jeremiah from Yahweh, saying, That speaketh Yahweh, power of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. Okay, see, that's what the prophets did when the prophets are described, and when the prophesied, when the scribes were writing down either themselves or you know the the scribes who were writing down everything that they wrote, man, that they spoke. Okay, going back to the book of Peter's man said, uh, it was, you know, holy men that were moved by the spirit, man. Okay. Uh, this is a revelation. One and eleven is saying, and it says, saying, "I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seest, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches." which are in Asia, unto Euphesus, and unto uh, Smyrna, and unto uh, Pegamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. Okay. 
so can you see uh, how see that's uh that's the point of how you know uh the, the prof uh the uh the 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 prophecies or the books were divided by lot meaning by line okay because each prophet had the at the particular portion that he brought forth, meaning together today we have the complete book. Okay. Uh, this is uh this is Daniel twelve and four. It says, "But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal, and seal and seal the book, even to the, um, salake." But thou, okay, uh, Daniel 12 and 4, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased even to the time of the, even to the time of the end. Okay, so many today, you know, today we're in the time of, today we're in the time of the end. Okay, the book for a point of, for a, for a, a period of time, this, the understanding of the scriptures, man, was completely sealed. And then today, now, you know, uh, through Yahawa Shai, man, who, you know, were able to gain the understanding, man, after, you know, he did what he did 2,000 years ago, okay? And then now today, you know, Yahawa Shai has now began to, you know, to, to give us the understanding, man, beginning first of who we are, you know, and the best of understanding of the scriptures, man, okay? Uh, let me see. Uh, so my last scripture it says that uh, it's uh, Ezekiel 2 and 9. It says, When I looked and behold, an hand was sent out to me, and lo, a row of a book was there in, and it spread it before me, and it was written within and without. Okay, within and without, meaning like a you know, it was completely written, and there was written therein lamentation and mournings and war. Okay. And that's why I mean people when they act like the Bible, the Bible is all about peace and love and everything, man. You know, that's false, man. This this scripture, this scripture itself, man, just kills all that, man. The book, the book is not all about love and love and, love and you know peace, man. Okay, the book, the Bible is you know a book of uh, it's a historical record, a book of of uh, law, statutes and commandments, book of prophecies, man. Okay. Uh, let me see if I had something else here. Okay, I believe I believe that was all. Okay, yeah, I think I pretty much uh got all this all the precepts that I was trying like that put together. But I those there's more precepts, man. I wanted to go into the one now. Uh, uh, another example of uh with Ezra, man. The you know I, I'm not exactly sure where the precepts where the scriptures are so you know i'll just leave it there you know with that man hopefully uh you know you were edified until next time uh, shalom